Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Monday night, another live stream with uh, Andrew uh, with Brick Monarch Shop and Brick Monarch on Instagram and YouTube, and myself, Jason, with the Brick Stop. This is another episode of Let's Talk About Lego, and uh, we're ready to talk about this new Dungeons and Dragons set here. Yeah. What do you think about this? First impression? Well, actually, let's uh, let's say hey to everybody real quick. Yeah, um, let's do that first. Yeah. Um, Adam Wright is in here. Uh, Toyzilla, Retro, Spacer Nate, General Tron, Alternate Candidate. Octavian is in here. Brickativity. Um, thanks, guys, for joining. Um, sorry yeah. about last week. I don't know. I had some personal issues I had to deal with, like, literally an hour before we were supposed to go live, and I had to postpone. Um, All good, so man. I, I apologize for that. That family comes first. You know, I really do believe that, and, mm. you know... I, I think most of our people in the chat would agree with that. So all good. Everything's okay. We're squared away. I'm sure people there. I got a couple messages, you know, making sure that we're okay. And yes, we're, 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 we're good. Um, so yeah, we're happy to be back on track. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about D and D. Yeah. So I've, I've got, I've got the set itself. Okay. I've yeah. broken it down. We're going to look at a couple of the shots that they put up on the Lego website. Um, a couple of points I want to make out about it. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also the gift with purchase right? Uh, that comes with it. So we're yep. going to talk about that. And then we're going to also going to talk about the minifix. Perfect. The this CMS whole video is D&D. Or... Oh, the whole, okay. The whole video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, we're not talking about space figs with Dungeons and Dragons. Well, a couple of new space sets released today too, which look horrible. So we can, yeah. get, a, we can uh, get into some new release stuff maybe another time. But... Another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, all right. Well, yeah, yeah. What are your initial thoughts? I mean, we do we do we have a side by side or do we just have the main? No, I've just got the main, and here's why. Okay. Here's why. I want to point okay. this out. Yeah. Everybody knows the process of Lego ideas. Right. For sure. They're gonna take your idea, and they're mm -hmm. gonna do whatever the hell they want with it. <laughs> Pretty <Okay>? much. <laughs> so yeah. when the set, when the set images are actually released, yeah, the idea is no longer valid. Okay, if you want your build and your parts and your design, mm -hmm. go to Brickset or go to uh, um, Bricklink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's where you need to go. Ideas is, it's an idea, and then they're going to take your idea and mm -hmm. run with it and kind of modify it to fit the Lego brand. Now, looking at this set, I think this is a great set. I don't like the price. Price has been, the, everyone the seems to. is yeah. terrible. It's wild. I Especially, am, I am not buying the set. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I have decided Man, against it. It's been chewing around in the back of my head, you know? Yeah. That's a weird phrase, but it's been there floating, you know, because there's so much to love here. Really, I yeah. mean, at first it was kind of a, I was thrown, like you were saying, you look at the original image, you look at what they got. I, I think you're in a good headspace look, saying that, right? Where it's, you you look at it as an idea. It's just, it's like, it's like a movie inspired by a book. It's never yeah. going to even look close, but no. it's got the same, you know, kind of ideas there that you were presented to originally. Uh, so, yeah, originally I was kind of hemming and hawing about it. Price is what's throwing a lot of people. I've seen a lot of, like, reviews. A lot of thumbnails are, what's this price? Is it worth it? 600, whatever, not 603, whatever, 360 or whatever it is. What is the price anyway? Let's throw that out there real quick. Uh, Do we remember what it is? Three sixty nine. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's been a big one for a lot of people. Is the price? Oh, three fifty nine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, we we can look at the just look at the recently released uh, medieval village set, the mm -hmm. town square. Okay. Yeah. Two thirty, two hundred thirty bucks for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some pretty awesome pieces, some pretty yeah. awesome decals, new mini figs, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it had like what, 32 or 3,300 pieces in it. This yeah. has got 400 more pieces in it. Okay. And so it's $140 the... more. I wonder if the D and D license, people are going to bring that up and I, I, that's why I want to address it. I, it's going to add some price to this. I don't know that it's going to add that much. Yeah. I don't I, know. I don't know that 30% is really worth it. I mean, yeah. I'm, listen, I'm sure that Dungeons and Dragons is a super cool game. I've never really sat down and played it. It's a little weird. The fantasy it's, is like extreme. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my opinion. Yeah. And let's, let's be honest here. There, there's a lot of people that play Dungeons and Dragons and mm -hmm. they're weirdos. 
Right. There's some normal, there's some normal guys out there. There's that, some, yeah. That, you know, enjoy the, the role play quest game, sure. right? Sure, sure, sure. I mean, obviously that's clear with video games, right? Definitely. But the classic yeah. way of doing it was with Dungeons and Dragons. It's the a little weird for me. Yeah. The miniatures. It's, it's, it's the, weird yeah. for me. And I don't know that a 30% markup on the parts for the D&D logo is worth it. Interesting. Yeah. I, I think that's uh, a, 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 somewhat a fair analogy or uh, analysis of the the situation i i i've played eh, pathfinder you know a couple times which is a a, a game built on a similar engine to D, and i've played some some video games that were based on it as well so i have a little bit of knowledge about some of the back back end of this and where this is coming from i think it's a pretty faithful you know interpretation of what a DD lego set should look like sure um, yeah but yeah, I mean, you're going to no get... No discrepancy there at all. You're definitely... I, I want to... Yeah, I would address the, what you're talking about. You're drawing a different crowd for sure. Um, and it's a weird... It bugs... Yeah, it's a little... There's a little bit about D&D &D that it just... It's not for... Parts of it are not for me. Some of it is great. And it depends. The, I think the problem maybe that we're looking at is it's such a vast thing. You can play... A vampire hunter campaign and it's in the hills of transylvania and it's gothic and dark and there's castles and werewolves and then on the flip side of that you can play a a weird campaign where there's fairy people riding dinosaurs right so it's like it just depends on the dungeon master the person putting the game together what's in the actual lore um and then and that's where you're going to get this weird sort of fantasy it's not quite the fantasy i, I like lego castle fantasy era fantasy where you got undead you got some elves <laughs> right Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. Those yeah. are my. That's where I go to. When I would have fantasy. rather. I would have rather seen a World of Warcraft than Dungeons and Dragons. I would agree. Actually, yes. Uh, no offense Warcraft. to the Dungeons and Dragons guys. Okay. And yeah, their, no, and, and board it, game. Like right? I said, I've played it. I enjoy it, and and it's really about a. It's a. It's a personal one, -on -one like experience versus like a general like. Oh, do I we like D and D? Yes. Oh, sure. Well, maybe whatever. But. If you're having fun with a group of people playing through this campaign, it's like the most complex board game ever, kind of, mm -hmm. where your 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 decisions and things are right ruled by dice. I'm sure you've seen how it's played. You know, people the basic concepts out there. Everyone knows kind of the basic concept. But anyway, all that to say, yeah, three fifth three sixty is that going to pull the D and D crowd? It might. It it we'll see though. I mean, it, it depends. I, uh, I'm sure it probably will. Those guys, those those guys are no different than the Lego guy. Right? Well, and I'll be honest, those guys they have some deep pockets. The D and D crowd they pay for all kinds of kickstarters, all kinds of terrain builders, all kinds of campaign makers. The, there's there's like forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollar funded projects on Kickstarter, all under the D and D you know stuff. So they have them. They they do have deep pockets. It's a huge. It's an old, huge fan base. It's kind of like Warhammer 40k, you know, those big fan yeah. bases that have been around for a very long time. So they have this huge foundation. So, yeah. Uh, so maybe they just thought they could get away with it for, for the price there. I don't know. Yeah, perhaps. Um, before we move on, I wanted to mention uh, Retro. Thanks for the uh, five pound donation. Oh, yeah. Evening, lads. Hope all are well. Yeah, we're doing okay. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got a lot of hellos from everybody here. Um, and then there's a few comments that I wanted to address here before we move on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, After we just, like, burned the D&D &D community? No. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We're talking to the Lego community, not D&D. &D. That's true. Um, we got a lot of... Uh, there's some of these people... Some, some of the people in chat are saying that they've, they've ordered it. Okay. Uh, some people... The saying the price really hurts, like uh, Brickativity uh, saying the um, the price really hurts. I ordered one this morning. It worked out to five forty in Canadian dollars with tax. Jesus. I don't yeah. see. I don't know if that's worth it. Not now. Now, if that was Rivendell to me, right, <laughs> right. It's six hundred dollar Lego set done. Okay, this is kind of weird. Yeah, like, the, little, the little pink brain looking thing with all the eyeballs. Yeah, the ruined it. The Ruined beholder, you don't like the what? beholder. No, What's funny I know. Is, and that, and I think that speaks perfectly to where you're coming from because that is one of the most iconic monsters in D and D. And you probably may know that you've seen probably pictures of it on things, and it's all over the place. The 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 beholder is like number one 
most iconic monster in D&D. So that I think perfectly sums up kind of your experience of what you're looking at. It's like it just the the monster already throws you off. You know. So mm, let's see here let's see here what Peter N has to say. I have I have a pretty sizable Lego collection. Don't think I can call anyone weird. Oh, but different strokes. Uh -huh. <laughs> For what it's worth, it looks like it looks it looks like fun on Stranger Things. Right. So the TV show where they play the D&D game on Stranger yeah. Things, that's kind of right. It's it's all woven into that, right? Mm -hmm. That Stranger Things show on Netflix is is all grounded and rooted in the D&D &D game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, again, like like I was saying, I've played it. It's a fun. It's a fun time. You got to play with the right people. If you got a couple of your close buddies and you're you're going through this wacky campaign, you make all kinds of fun decisions. It's 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 kind of like a quest that you would like to go on maybe in real life, right? A, a lot of people have that that kind of desire somewhere inside to go on a quest. It's the Lord of the Rings, it's the Hobbit, right? The little Hobbit. You got he somehow he ended up on a quest he never thought he wanted to be on, right? So yeah. it's kind of you get that experience on a very low lower level, a smaller obviously it's on a table and you're playing with your friends but so there's there's good in it I, i'm gonna say that for sure D D has got some fun stuff it's a good thing but like yeah i mean it's it's definitely not for everyone absolutely no. not even not even close for now everyone, aside so. from aside from all the weird minifigs okay yeah. the dragon um people. yeah all, all that yeah, stuff yeah. <laughs> the set itself looks cool no, I, I like the set. It, I like that it's modular. You know, we can get yeah. into that a little bit. Um, um, and I do, yeah. I do, I do want to talk about that. Um, Look at like, that. I mean, it's like, a cool looking. Yeah, set. it's a cool, it's a cool set. I mean, there's yeah. no, there's no doubt about it. Okay, it's got a nice structure. It's got an interesting shape. Mm -hmm. um, right here, of, you've got you got a side view and a, and a back view. Dynamic um, is what I would call a dynamic build. Like, yeah, I don't like that. i I don't like the way they did the dark tan on the back where the studs are sticking out like that. I think no. that was like a um, that was a quick uh, tie together. Yeah, that wasn't thought out very well. I don't think, in my opinion, I agree. Especially better. that, especially right in the top of the arch, that one like little tile or cheese wedge just yeah. poking out in the middle there. Like, yeah, it, was it just doesn't sort make of any sense. There. Yeah, I don't like that design much, but. Um, overall, like, yeah, I mean, that's nitpicking a little bit on the design. I, I, I think it overall looks pretty nice. Um, I don't mind the color of the dark tan there. It just should have been done a little smoother. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the ruin tower. You got the creepy candles and the things going on the dragon shrines. I mean, overall, like I was saying, it's a fun, it's a fun build. There's a lot of fun, interesting things happening in it. Um, Man, the shape is nice. I, I will say that. I thought it was a little wonky at first when I got some of the leak images. Now looking at it fully with the high res, it's a nice shape. Yeah. We can also talk about those doors. You like those square medieval door molds? Oh, yeah. I really like those. <laughs> There's like three of them on here, I think. Uh, Not they came with in the 360 middle... bucks, though. Yeah, well, they come in the medieval market, too. So Yeah. You're good. I'm sure they'll show up in more sets coming up in the future as well. I'm glad we have a new like rustic door mold though. It's exciting. Oh yeah, to fit in that square. Um, I was gonna say also, what's cool about this set again? If you, you you know, if you can pull it off, if you can, if you can spend that five whatever five eighty Canadian or however much it was, <laughs> if you can make it happen, and you don't love the weird brain beast, you don't love the the brick built animals, which I don't like that that's another thing i didn't like about this yeah we're completely the, against that on this channel yeah, we didn't we didn't love the brick built animal stuff but uh you can switch this i mean come you can imagine what this would look like if you maybe take the purple off that roof throw a little bit of uh black for throw replace that with some black you know shingles and then maybe put some falcon flags up in the tower not even you, not even this could be a wolf pack or base. or a wolf pack yeah yeah so there's a lot of potential here to incorporate it into a medieval build or a medieval table, you yeah. know, um, without doing much to it at all. Um, because it has a very nice energy, I guess, for lack of a better word. Like, I mean, I, that's, I really a, that's a good like way it. of putting it though. That's, that's a good way of putting it. I like that. Um, yeah. I like the foliage in the front. Mm -hmm. I like the trees. I like the little, the little tavern. I like the structure of the tavern. I like how it's nestled against the wall. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right up on the cliff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I really do. I, I really like the brickwork along the ruined part of the tower. It, what's 
here's I'll tell you this right now. It's it's fairly difficult to design a ruined Lego tower without making it look like you didn't finish the build or the build got like kicked. Like the way yeah. they designed the the slopes on the broken stone and then the brickwork clinging to the sides of the corners there, like it does look like the top of that slid off like a hundred years ago, you know? Like yeah. it, it's a good design for a broken tower. Real quick, Henry the Horse, replace the whole set with a better, cheaper mock. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. you can do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just wanted to jump in the comments there. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yeah, the, the, um, some of these comments, I mean, some of these comments are so in-depth that we would open up and end up spending 10 minutes talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, yeah, we can maybe address one or and two. And I definitely, I definitely but... appreciate everyone's input here um, on that. Um, and I will, I will select a few for sure to discuss. Definitely. But I do want to get, I do want to have, I do want to get through these, uh, these visuals here. Um, yeah, aside sure. from aside from these the, the the view here on the left of this angle, I really mm -hmm. like the way that that is shaped. That's what I, I was. Yeah, I yeah. really really like that. It's very it's very nice. It is very nice. Yes, I agree. Um, further further breaking that down, um, this is the one modular piece, the front front right piece of the of the setup, and I absolutely mm -hmm. love this setup here. The, uh, the we're talking about the right image with the water. Yes. <clears throat> I absolutely love it. It looks wonderful. You I got like angles the, in there. You yeah. got some rock work, some grass, some, you know, it just, it looks great. It's very typical modern medieval Lego. Yes. Feel. Okay. It looks I great. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I also like that, you know, those tentacles they have coming out of the water, you change those to black or brown, put some leaves on them. You got just more foliage. Like you mm -hmm. don't have to have a creature coming up. Yeah. You know, so that's fun too. Like you can just make a little modification there. So yeah, no, I, I think it's nice. It's a nice module. I, I do like that it comes apart in that section. That's quite an interesting piece to pull out of a build. Usually that would kind of maybe main, stay as part of the foundation and you'd pull mm -hmm. parts off of that. So the fact that they have this yeah. whole chunk clip off is pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Again, like you said, I mean, you know, there is some nice value in the set. It's not completely, you know, it, it, is it overpriced? Yeah, probably. <laughs> but you are going to be getting some cool things, especially like those yeah, dragon I, decals on those. I would, pieces. I would get this for two fifty. I'd pay two fifty for sure. For yeah, I think what's kind of thrown everybody is that damn Viking village for one thirty or whatever it was. Yeah, that's just blue. Like, and you got new printed shields, fully new, like full, yeah. full printed minifigs i bought like, two printed, of them. yeah like there's a ton of prints in that um and just the amount of parts in it was astronomical so i think we're kind of reeling from being able to afford something so cool for and and large it's a big set you know for so little then you jump yeah. switch 2024 hits and we're looking at this and it's like oh <laughs> that's a lot of money <laughs> well i mean even the uh, town square was only 230 yeah yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Not to harp on the price, but we kind of thoroughly pounded that into the ground. It's a little, it's a little expensive. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you want to address a couple of the comments now or do you want to keep? Yeah, we can. Yeah. You want to, you want to handpick a couple there, Jason? Well, now I'm like, I'm just kind of looking at them, but, uh, Tricerion, I, I like that they have the large gray turret piece, um, in the mini tower. Yep, yep, that it's not purely a brick built. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. Oh, the um, I think you're talking about the, the wall piece there, or yeah, or the corner, in, corner panel, mm -hmm, the corner panels. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I, I like seeing that come back. Um, you know, it's kind of been floating around still in different colors, but having it in that blue gray, yeah, this is a perfect, gray. yeah, those are rare. Yeah, well, I was just gonna, I was just gonna say, this is a perfect opportunity to. Buy some Brick Monarch Shop decal stone pattern stickers and pop them on these <laughs> panels right here, man. They look great. Um, and hopefully they'll show up in a pick a brick. You know that'd be great. Well, if not, they'll show up on Bricklink. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, but they'll be a little cheaper on pick a brick. Probably. Yeah, because yeah, because you won't have to be purchasing this darn thing just to get two or three of them. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen uh let's see what else we got uh we had a couple deep ones like you said um 
Uh, Peter N, let's pull him up again. Uh, set has uh, positives, but is grossly overpriced, and it comes off as though Lego is trying to bank on the brand name. That's kind of what I was sort of trying to say earlier. I wasn't sure if they were just pricing it because they could or or D and D is that wizards of the coast? I can't remember if that's the people behind them, but we're, um, we're kind of ringing Lego for all they could get. Cause it's the first collaboration with them. And so they're maybe they were putting some premiums on their license to get what they could out of it. I, I, I don't know. Well, Lego is trying to reimburse their, their name change and all their <laughs> prints for the dungeon master's castle. Right. Right. <laughs> which I totally get. Octavian says, with a little bit of reworking, this could be um, that fancy forest min river crossing. Oh, maybe put a waterfall instead of the steps there on that bridge. Yeah. Uh, something like that. Um, put a river where the mushroom people... Oh, he just said, I should have just finished the com comment. <laughs> where the, yeah, yeah, with the, with a small waterfall in the dungeon beneath the river. I like it. Yeah, that or the um, uh, Forceman's... What is it? The, the the big forestman set. Why can't I remember? Forestman's Forest... River Fortress? Yeah, that. Yeah, that one. <laughs> you could build this. I bet you you could do a really nice mock of the Forestman's River Fortress with these parts. Oh, yeah. Build I it up really so. cool. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, again, I, I think the overall uh the overall opinion is that you you know if you can spring the cash you're gonna get a lot of really good parts a lot of cool stuff and some pretty nice prints and stickers and things like that but mm -hmm. overall I, I think a lot of people are not quite ready to drop that coin uh yeah, Henry the horse dynamic quote unquote aka ugly mess uh, i don't agree i i think uh i think if you look at it like that image you had said on the on the left yeah with that yeah that one right there I, I don't see that as it's pretty cohesive. Uh, I I think the back is a bit of an ugly mess, and I'll give you that. Yeah, it is. It's terrible. It, actually, it's pretty nasty looking. But that shot from the left there with the tavern, I don't love the purple. I get rid of the purple. Uh, you know, maybe tone down that a little bit. But other than that, I think it, it it's a nice shot. It, it it flows pretty well in my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's just you know that's what we're here. We're talking about this is our, all our take, right? It's all our opinions. So. <laughs> Take it or leave it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So here's some nice shots of all the, the little bits and pieces here. Yeah. So you basically, the top three images there is the tavern. You've got the okay. bottom piece, the modular top that comes off, and mm -hmm. the, the reverse side of it. Yeah. Um, which is which is great. It's, it's all right. I, I It's very... <laughs> very compact <laughs> it is it's very tight i'm surprised they fit all those figs in that one shot so maybe it's a little bigger than it looks but it it's very small uh compact little tavern um which fits the scale of the whole build but like i'd love to see a lego medieval you know tavern that's, yeah that's a little bigger maybe you know did we get or did we get one in the medieval village i guess we did right is there what? a tavern in that one yeah Okay, so never mind. We got that. There's a tavern in that one and the town square. That's what I was talking about. The town square does have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never mind. So we've got a nice alternative if you want to get that. Um, yeah, so you got all these weird figs down here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only one that looks normal is the guy wearing the gold, gold plate armor over here on the far left. Yeah, he's a kind of weird, kind of a paladin looking guy. She's sort of a sorceress. <laughs> See, I'm not against. Here's the thing: I, I don't, I like the sorceress. I don't like the dragon guy. I don't like anything about him. I don't like his head. I don't like his clothes. I, I think they're just. I mean, you could turn him into a peasant or something for a medieval. I just that's not. He's not interesting to me. Um, this little guy with the shield. I love that shield. I think that would be cool in like a Greek. Almost looks like a Medusa shield. I know it's the beholder, but like. It could be a cool Greek shield if you wanted to do some something like that. This guy with the weird little green fang sword thing. Yeah, he's he's kind of a weirdo looking kind of guy. Yeah. But uh yeah, I mean the figs aren't I mean, again, you're not it, it's not a medieval build. You're not gonna get knights with like, you know, uniform armor and stuff like that. You're gonna get a handful of quest people on a party in a quest going on a mission from all different backgrounds and everything like that. That's kind of the whole thing. Um, so I understand why they're so all over the place with the figs, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
yeah yeah it's it's all right it i i think you're gonna get enough cool variation of torsos and things like that that you could really incorporate them into any medieval build if you wanted to i'm surprised they put three skeletons in there like that's a bit of a cop out <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah, it's like how many six figs or whatever, but three or one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's two or three more skeletons in there, isn't there? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100% three skeletons, sure. But yeah, I mean, it's not. Skeletons are a dime a dozen. <laughs> okay, okay. A couple, a couple comments here. Um, okay, what do we got? Octavian said uh, the cleric yep. is far left, skeleton warrior, then the beholder mage the dragon is an npc apparently in the game <laughs> okay uh the cube gnome fighter whatever that cube is it's like a gelatin something or other yeah the gelatinous cube yeah gelatinous cube <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um and then the uh another classic monster tentacle cat <laughs> like is, who, uh, who comes up with this stuff were they on drugs cat. What was that thing called? There's this a, is like an LSD meltdown. It, well, I mean, if we're being honest, so is playing D&D &D a little bit. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> what was that called? It was called like a corrupted creature or something like that. The cat thing. It's, that's the wrong name for it. Someone might yeah, have it. Sure. Drop it in the comments if you know. There is an official name for this cat tentacle monster. <laughs> Something jumped right out of the HP Lovecraft lore here. So apparently the, the dragon head was a videos. Oh, uh, a video just a reprint of a video one. Is it not a real a new mold? It it might not be. I mean, it looks no. pretty similar. Um, somebody said it was called the um, Phase Beast Maybe or displacer, phase beast. displacer Beast. Oh, the Displaced. Displaced. I think it's called a Displaced Creature or a Displaced Beast. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't, you know, read up on this thing. I, I've heard a couple people talk about it, though. So, uh, yeah, thanks. It, it is just, I'm pretty sure it's displaced. It's a black Whatever cat. Whatever it's yeah. called. America is it's it's a black weird. cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like a black cat. So, as I'm far as sure the, what it is. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, a black panther creature cat thing. Um, uh, let's see. B, it, it's not a new mold for the dragon head. It says BZ. Okay. Um the tentacle cat looks like one of the creatures from avatar <laughs> sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit yeah 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 i didn't love the avatar lego sets personally so um let's see as far as the build of the beholder i think it's it's really well built it's it's the best out of the brick built creatures i will i'll, I'll give it that um i don't hate it personally um if i had it i would take that eyeball out of the center of it and use it in lord of the rings mock <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh <laughs> same with the little sign hanging on the tavern yeah yeah exactly i i really like those two parts really cool pieces or stickers or prints whichever one they are but um i think it's well designed and it looks exactly like what it's supposed to represent the cat looks kind of clunky like those creatures from the vikings line it looks more robotic than you know organic mm -hmm. and the owl bear is just uh, it's it's another one of the creatures in there that just if they look like they're from the creator i don't care look i'm fine <laughs> i'm going on a rant here here we go where's the rant siren <laughs> uh oh yeah i mean I, i'm already getting people are saying i'm too critical <laughs> no harry let's make it worse <laughs> let me just throw this in here real quick <laughs> no i i would say i i don't judge too hard when you get a brick built animal in a creator set you kind of expect it because it's a creator set and they usually build a cow for one and then it's they build it into a you know a, a horse in the other one and whatever or a donkey or something or there's a, a crow and then they turn it into a, a little you know rooster or something so they use kind of the similar parts to build multiple different little creatures in creator sets that's fine but when you're building when you're buying a licensed theme product or even like a castle or city or something like that where it's in a, a fluent theme not a fluent mm -hmm. theme, a fluid theme like a cons consistent consistent cohesive theme you're expecting where the squirrels are molded and the little cats are molded and then there's a brick built dog or a brick built bear you know it, it just it throws the whole thing for me yeah no I yeah it's the so. same with harry potter i think harry potter is a perfect example they've done a couple really bad brick built creatures they mold oh, yeah. a head and then they stick it on with a ball joint that doesn't match the color of the creature and you're, you're done it's like i'm sorry like just mold me the thing 
So that's where I'm at. I get it spikes the price a little bit to get those molds, but you know, it's all that's, that's kind of my rant on the brick built creatures. So I don't hate them always, but I don't like them in this. Yeah. But Hey, on the bright side, if you are willing to spend the $360 on this set, you get one of these. Yay. I hate this thing. I it's kind of I don't know why why does it have a blue tongue and why does it have a purple mouth? <laughs> well, why so, does it yeah. have four eyeballs? Is it a spider? <laughs> is it a box? It's a mimic. <laughs> it's a mimic? <laughs> That's what it's called. So so I okay, here's the thing. I like I like mimics as a concept. They they disguise themselves as a chest or, or something you would open in a, a game or something you'd explore or try to get okay. into. And then when it you get into it, you put the key in the lock or you come up to it, it's actually a creature inside it's got a mouth and it's a big old tongue and it grabs you and eats your head right just rips you apart so it's a cool concept it's a trap basically right it's a it's an enemy in the game uh and they, they, they they've kind of shown up in multiple different genres of multiple video games and things like that but so it's, it's just a cool idea i just don't think this build is very well done it, you can't even disguise it like it it you can't even disguise it as a chest it can only be a mimic in its mimic form like the tongue kind of goes in and out and that's it. Yeah. Like who designed a mimic that you can't put in at, unless there's, unless I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure I've seen people play with it and it does not fold completely back into a normal looking chest. Well, whether it does or it doesn't. <laughs> 168 pieces seems a lot for that too. Well, they're all super tiny pieces though. Oh, I guess that's true. I mean, you can count probably 200 just on the front of it. Yeah, so there there was someone who did something talked about it, and uh, I think a couple of the figs have like multiple heads you can switch out and stuff like that. And there's yeah. a couple little extra pieces and stuff, and so they put them in this chest, which is kind of a cool because it, you know, it's a D and D related item, so you can just throw all the extra things in that. I think it works well for that, but you know, I don't know. I, it's not my favorite gift with purchase I've ever seen. Well, uh, I mean, you know, the set the set comes out. Technically, I guess today or maybe today. the fourth. It's today for uh, VIP, I think. Yeah, and then the yeah. the CMFs don't release until September or something like that. I want to say. Yeah, it's yeah, and it's, it, they and should I don't come know. out at the same time. Dice box says somebody yep. in the comments. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's the dice box. That's what it is. Kex bricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's uh, marketed as, I believe. Um, sorry, go ahead. You were talking about when it comes out. Yeah, the CMFs don't come out until uh, September, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and, and there's... They, they should have released with the thing. I would have thought that they would have got more sales and more stir yeah. on the whole D&D &D brand had they come out together. Well, and this is, this is still up for debate, whether or not these are original Lego designs, or if this is somebody pulling our legs. There haven't I haven't had them confirmed from any source that I trust whether or not this image here is an actual mm. image or not. Now, I will say that people have been saying that it's early concept art, and that's why it doesn't quite look like the origin, like the 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 correct, you know, because uh, it looks almost kind of too digital, right? Like it, yeah. like digital art. It doesn't quite <laughs> look like a full render. Com so so there's some people saying that it's concept art. Someone also pointed out that the girl with the little dragon up top, she's holding a piece that's very, if not exactly the same mold as a Playmobil piece. I don't know if you know much about Playmobil, but it's a, another European toy brand that's similar to Lego. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't play with those. Yeah, well, no, I mean, I, I wouldn't expect you to, but it is a, it is a, uh, <laughs> that, that, um, lightning piece she's holding is very suspiciously close to one of their parts that they've designed so there's still a little bit of a, a speculation as to whether or not these are legit but if they are i think there's a lot of cool stuff here that's there is sure. a lot of cool stuff here um i don't like the eagle head that's a little weird um but i do like i do like the little elf down the bottom left hand corner uh mm -hmm. that print on the uh the little banjo yeah and that whole the get mandolin. up there that's pretty nice um, the little horns, the antlers on the little yep. fourth guy. Yeah. New color of the bird. Looks like the bird's got a print on its head. Yep. Which is good. 
New axe? Is that a new axe? Yeah, a new axe like... just above him. And then uh, the, the new mold of the little mini dragon. Yeah. Like, if those are, like I said, if these are legit, I uh, there's a lot to like here. Um, yeah, there that, is. Even that shield. Look at that blue shield with the dragon on it. I mean, yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of. Uh, I like it. It's, it's all right. I I'm like not... it. And I like his armor. I, I wouldn't go for the again. I I don't love the the head. I I'm not huge onto the the animal hybrid people, but like yeah, because we get too close to Chima, and then I mean, there's yeah, a lot of Chima vibe Chima. here. You got some furries and Chima vibes coming in. Yeah, so you want to you know be careful walking that ground. But the vampire's cool too. I like the vampire guy. See, I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm I I like some of the the more fright nights type stuff <laughs> the lich king the let vampire. me point let me point out something too on this that i'm actually impressed with and they've given it additional thought now the only reason that is the case is because this is a multiplayer game universe okay yeah and it could be a female or a guy yes okay now they've given me a lego castle and they're mm -hmm. all female knights you know how pissed off i was about that well they're all well, half of them are. Yeah. Well, they, they have to. Seventy percent of them. <laughs> anyway, the point of it is on these because it's a role playing game. Yeah. The reverse side of the heads are the opposite sex. I think they're actually so in the set that they came out with, they're replaceable heads. I don't think it's the opposite side. You can swap it. Well, maybe it's just maybe it's a completely separate head. Yeah. I like that. I mean. I'm not opposed to it. I don't know. The, I think that the reason that they did that is because oh. a girl could play this elf as a girl. I see what you're saying. And a yeah. guy could do the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Octavian says they have separate heads. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that was a, that was a, that was a great concept for this CMF mm. series. And my yeah. point is, is they should do that across the board. Like, yeah, don't I mean, have, don't have them heavy, one way or the other, right? Give just give everybody the option. Yeah, I would like, say don't I would don't say, be like here's your queen for your castle when I yeah. don't want a queen for the castle. Yeah, you I want a king for the castle. So give is, me yeah, a king yeah. head, right? And a yeah, beard. Or, no, or I think that would also solve a lot of uh, people blowing up on both sides of the whole stupid argument with the whole oh, there's not enough girls in the guy stuff, too much guys in the girls, whatever it is, you know, like I don't get involved in that stuff, but I've seen articles, Tips and Bricks is one that leans heavily into that stuff. They seem to be digging up problems where there aren't any. Yeah, I unfollowed them a long time ago. I don't follow them, but I'm just saying like, you know, that's that's an example of yeah the, the, the discussion, regardless of whether you want to be a part of it or not, it is out there. That's a perfect solution for it. Yeah, that's all I got to do. Is, right here. Yeah. simple people don't need to be freaking out either way or the other and then you know you can have some some heads like the classic smile <laughs> bring that back Throw that on five or six of them then they're it's it's both it's either or put a put a hair piece on it it's one put a put a you know a helmet on it it's the other whatever it is you want to do then then you can have some that are just across the board they're just generic lego heads <laughs> right yeah but well yeah see, I mean, lot, i'm with you the, there a lot of the games a lot of the games nowadays the role-playing mm -hmm you know rpg games or whatever yeah. um video games they're like that they have a certain set of characters right you can be but you can be a chick or you can be a dude yep and then you have you have like ba the, basically the same gear and look overall right right like as far right. as like armor and you know dress and and whatnot but then you can change your hair color male female etc mm -hmm. etc so they've mm -hmm. done that here with these figs so they in my opinion that's the way they should do all of them sure don't make them one 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 way heavier on the other you know like like the c just like the standard cmfs when we get that there should be a head option for a female or or a male oh yeah yeah even if it was just in the cmf lines and that's it yeah that's, just in the cmf line itself i agree minifig collector the queen in the lion knight's castle was good i love the minifig i do I, like the I, queen. I i i, I, I killed that queen I know you killed the queen. I understand. You know, it was a whole civil war. There was a, it, 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 it sparked a war that lasted 300 years and there's blood and guts everywhere for, for the, the hundred years war in the Lego kingdom after that assassination. But that being said, <laughs> I like the fig. I think it's a cool fig. And I think she looks really cool next to the, the kingdom's king. Um, although she, or, or any 
or or just taking a a crusader king because you can swap her out with other stuff right and use one of those cool uh crowns with the hair molded on the bottom and build a really cool looking crusader king and they they look cool together i i don't like i like i don't hate the fig but i know that like some people were kind of bummed that the king's lion castle was not a king's lion castle it was the queen's lion castle whatever that's what i'm talking about that 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 conversation like it, it's just i don't yeah give them the options make customize your figs the way you want to customize them like that's what i say so let's see there was another comment someone was saying something about um uh the whole where do they go i think they were just a lot of people were agreeing like that would be nice and make the characters more customizable oh the charm someone said mentioned the the charm of D was the customized customizability of the characters like that's part of yeah. it i mean people spend hours putting those guys together so yeah and that and like to your point earlier too like every video game <laughs> since the not like 90s and onward you know you could switch character genders right female or male characters depending on how you wanted to play and there was a fair amount of customization in almost any video games or almost all of them so any of the big ones anyway so um yeah my brother plays a lot of the big ones um and you know character character build is like the first like two hours of the gameplay oh what was that sorry the character build like designing oh, your yeah, character yeah, to play the game yeah yeah they, they put a good them. amount of time into the customization of their character before they even start the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they change it as they get items and things through the game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool different clothes and stuff. So, um, yeah, no, I, I think that's an interesting uh, a, a approach maybe to to that. I, I guess the other counter to that would be like, we have, I, at least I do, anyone who collects Lego, I mean, I got piles of heads from both genders and everything under the sun that lego's ever done so i don't necessarily you know care on a set because it's so easy to swap them out to whatever i need them to be when i build mm -hmm. that set but i do like with the cms because the cms come with unique heads a lot of the time so yeah. I, I i'm with you on that for for maybe just cms or maybe super super specific characters in a set like Oh, the king in a castle can be a king or queen. Oh, the commander of this or the space, you know, captain here could be a queen, uh, a, a girl or a boy or whatever. So I, I like getting some customization on some of the like unique ones. I don't care about some of the soldiers. You can swap those out all day with stuff you already have probably. So, mm -hmm. I mean, overall, overall, I think that the D&D &D setup here is kind of cool. It's cool that they that that they that they're giving something else to another medieval fantasy community yes. versus just another Star Wars set. Yeah, that's overpriced as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or another, yeah, another. You know, I don't know, man. Another <clears throat> truck in the city line. Like, how many of these fire stations do we need? How many of these? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like there's always like another 20 police stations and firefighter yeah. sets and stuff. I don't know. I'm I'm not opposed to all yeah, of that and, honestly. And the, I mean, you know, the repeat of like, the, yeah. the repeat of the Star Wars is just about to make me sick. Um so seeing this is a bit of relief. Sure. Okay. It's not really for me. I think this the big set is cool. I think there's some great parts in there. The 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 build is kind of cool. I'm not so sure about these weird minifigs. I like some of the parts in it. Yeah. Um, but again, it's just, it's just it doesn't appeal to me. It's not really my fantasy world, right? It's a little too weird for me. Yeah. I think you're getting a lot of... It uh, feels very labyrinth, okay, to me. It's not, yep. it's not cool. Yep, yep. It's kind of the... It's kind of the other side of the fantasy genre. Yeah, it's, it's like, like Dark Crystal fantasy. Right. Yeah. I'm not a Yeah. Or even like Willow, right? Willow's. Yeah. Willow's it's a little like, weird. Mm, eh. It's like, it's, uh, yeah, it's okay. But like, am I going to watch Willow or like, here's where I'll make a concession. I'd rather watch the Hobbit um, <laughs> over the Willow movie. Right. You know, it's like, what are we going to do here? Like, right. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I, I get that. It's like kind of the difference between. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord of the Rings, the like, or, or even Lego castle fantasy era stuff where it's like, it's, it's still grounded in that 
you know that i think I even know, i think even aside aside from the 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 you know uh the fantasy genre here of dungeons and dragons yeah. i think that lego needs to go in a direction of more historical yeah i had that conversation like historical realism right for sure no i i definitely like, um, how how amazing would it be to get like um uh, hell's are you talking right with the, the brave 300 oh yeah, yeah yeah are you talking about um sets or cms or just both both sets yeah. themes yeah the whole well, bit and there's some some very um what's a good word tame there's some real tame ones. some of that i understand why they're scared of getting into that because of implications around you know genocide and other things <laughs> I, I get it it's it's history but like uh, there's some tame ones you could hit that i'd even be really interested in like um prehistoric dino cavemen oh, that's a historical theme with you could get mammoths and like yeah you know, some of the barbarian type stuff early man i'd yeah. be all over that that'd be so cool to get mesopotamia um, yeah yeah exactly you know uh obviously you know maybe you're not doing the crusaders siege of jerusalem lego set right no, no. <laughs> but you could yeah you could do you know ancient rome ancient greece and and if you really had a problem with you know some of the the conflicts that came in 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 those historical times i'm not even saying we have to do conflict i'm just well, saying like if you were going to do some like a greek or roman right how cool would yeah. it be to get a set of the acropolis no i i totally agree with well, like that's a what whole I was shitload do. of minifigs that yeah. relate to that genre period and location yeah no i i totally agree and i and I, to finish kind of my thought there is exactly what you said is you you get the, you can take the con some of the conflict out of it. You can still provide the the legionnaires and their little fort and everything, but you don't need to add the factions they were fighting. You can do the barbarian tribes. You can do the Celts right as their own thing with their fort and their trees and their you know Mongolians. whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know Persians, Egyptians, all of these different Persians, cultures. Yeah, yeah. that'd be. It'd be so cool. You could build out a whole historical world around Just Lego. Stop. Stuff. Just stop with the Star Wars. They've got enough. <laughs> okay. And let's do some other cool stuff. You know, Dungeons and Dragons is a cool is a cool thing because uh, it's fantasy, but it's not medieval castle mm -hmm. like Lego Castle, like original theme, right? It's not. It's not uh, Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's an additional it's an additional setup of uh some fantasy, which is kind of cool. Yeah. No, I I yeah, I feel I feel that for sure. Oh, by the way, real quick in the comments, I mean, you you had people agreeing with you earlier on how you were kind of looking at these as a kind of a parts pick, you know. Yeah. Once once they really whether it's these ones we're seeing here or if these are truly early images or if this is just, you know, a fake leak, whatever. They're, they're still planning to do a series similar to what we're looking at here. And I think it will be a really nice parts grab um, for pieces. Uh, and, and we had a lot of people in the comments kind of agreeing whether or not you're a, you know, uh, a D and D fan or not, you, you can still get some fantastic parts. Got some great comments down here talking about different, you know, ideas for, for historical themes kind of tailing off what we just talked about. We love ideas. Yep, General Tron's Bricks, Hyper Hy Hyborian Age, the Conan Age. Yeah, Gods and Monsters from Triserion. Yeah, I'd like something like that. That sounds awesome. Um, let's see. We got uh, Roman Praetorian Warriors. Yeah, yeah. I need Lego Lovecraft. Triserion says that as well. Yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, Le Lovecraft is out off the table. It's just too too insane for lego to get into that i don't think they'd want to touch that just with the the dark stuff he covers in his stories that's just horror right like mm -hmm. i mean lego's not gonna do a horror line <laughs> but uh you know I, I i thought like monster hunters or something like that maybe something along the lines of like a a, a, a witcher you know where you yeah. get wizards with their their wagons that flip open with all the gear that they use to hunt down certain you know dragons or creatures in the night or whatever that that's a fun idea you know yeah and, and here's the other thing real quick before we wrap it all up on the historical side of things i was talking to when i used to work at the lego store i, I was talking to one of my supervisors there and we had kind of bounced back ideas of what we thought would be cool to see in lego and we were talking about how lego could totally do these historical themes but kind of pull in the myth 
side of them how they did with vikings yeah you could do zeus and the the cyclops right you know uh, um you could do jason and the argonauts you could do a a, a a nordic gods theme with trolls and creatures from the nordic mythology fighting dwarves and things like that right so you can there's another side of that all where you really bring in the creatures you know and yeah. these these molded beasts and things like that and the gods of these different you know, age of the titans so the titan is exactly so titans <laughs> versus you know lego versus titans heroes versus titans theme i'd i'd be all over that because you're gonna get you're still gonna get the cool gear right you're gonna get the yeah, figs. yeah so that's that's just another aspect a facet of what they could be doing so anyway to get all off of that but uh yeah man overall cool lego set i like that they're jumping into something different yeah D and D, kind of a crazy partnership. I give really the set. I give game. the set itself um, a solid seven out of ten. I like how he completely ignored that there's a giant dragon in the set. Well, it's brick <laughs> built. Yeah, it's a nice brick built dragon, but I don't really care about it. I don't know why. Like it doesn't. I just it doesn't. It's there. <laughs> I know it's like a huge feature of the set the literal set is like tail of the red dragon or something right isn't it yeah that's what it's called yeah yeah red and dragon like, tail. oh yeah that's the right yeah yeah and it's just like eh, yeah it's there that's a cool part too i guess build a dragon it's fun um no it's not a badly designed dragon uh, unfortunately whenever i see a brick built dragon now nowadays i just think it's a ninjago dragon like, they did just, a lot of those this does look more european does look more fantasy i but still like, hate ninjago yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ninjago, there are so many dragons. <laughs> it should just, yeah, yeah. So seeing another brick built dragon, it's just like, okay. You know, I like the I like the molded clip together, you know, smog style style dragons. But yeah, I mean overall I think it's a – what are you gonna say? Did you say you were gonna give this a Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. I was going to say about the same. Yeah, I I, I think the price really hurts it for a the lot of people. The price hurts it a lot. Yeah, yeah. But overall, you know, I mean, I mean, could... I could I could easily pick this up at two fifty, ditch the sure. weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, make it something cool. Sure. Yeah. No, I'm I'm without I'm modifying down. too much. No, very little modification. You know, you can put the uh, put the brick built creatures into your <coughs> bulk no. your bulk bin and. Uh, I no. really, really like, and I'm digging the way that Lego is putting out sets and putting the structures together. Mm. I'm liking the yeah. build techniques. I'm yeah. liking the style of it. It's very intri- it's it's becoming more and more intricate as the mm. years go on. Yeah, they're doing they're, a good job. They're overall. doing a very good job. So I know that this set is going to be an interesting build. Sure. However, I understand. I yeah. will never get the opportunity to put it together. And yeah, you never know. It might go on Black Friday sale, knock a hundred bucks off of it. You might pick it up. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I agree with you there. I think Legos really come into their own. I think they've embraced. You know, there was a while there where you know late two thousands or mid two thousands. Actually, I guess it would have been. Yeah, probably mid mid two thousands. They did. They they were scared to. They were scared to be Lego. Yeah, like they were like, oh, Jack Stone is a perfect example. Galador, all these these wacky things where they're like, we're not even Lego really anymore. We're just kind of pretending to be like, you don't we're have to barely build plastic. anything. Yeah, yeah, it's like plastic toys here. You barely have to put the thing together. The, the minifigs aren't minifigs. They're weird, you know, wonky looking things. Like, yeah, they, so it's nice to see them that really over the last 15 years, you know, come into their own embraced the intricacy of what they're doing you know and, and shown people what you can do with the lego stuff that that before was really done and and, and displayed really with the, some of the adult mock builders you know and yeah. i think they've brought in mock builders now i mean we got people from lego masters give or take whether or not they're there's that skilled but they're pulling people that are outside their group and you can kind of think see that bleeding through into some of the designs now. I, I really do think so. Um, I wanted to point out a couple of these comments here at the very end here. Yeah. Uh, Mirko yeah, said, would have been a cool addition for a castle village. What, what would be a cool addition for a castle village that we've ever had? The coolest. I mean, uh, this would work for that. Yeah. It doesn't have classic. The, the This is 
the main issue is the purple roof. It yeah. doesn't fit with the Lego, cl- the classic Lego. Like, yeah, it's kind of weird. Fix the, fix the purple roof. Maybe uh, just change it all to blue, and it would fit really well. Brick Stash, Brick Stash is saying great, great late latest two years for the Lego, the Lego Castle fans. Um, yeah, we've had a pretty good run. We yeah. haven't gotten a full theme, but we've had a good you, run of some fun stuff come out. Yeah, if you like <laughs> trying to buy the stuff behind the freaking CMF or the the gift with purchase paywalls, you know, and the the big four hundred dollar sets, yeah. it's been nice. <laughs> um, the ruined castle would look cool for Fright Nights too. There you this, go. This, this is the yeah, better. Yeah, that that that's a pretty good <laughs> assumption. I, I like it for the wolf pack personally. Sure. Well, I but, like the I, I like the colors. The colors work really well for what he uh, someone had said originally for the Forceman too. Yeah. You know, it's a light gray and the dark, then the black trees and stuff. Like I think that works well. Yeah. It, really, any faction would be a nice ruin for them. But yeah, Wolfpack, Forceman, Fright Night's perfect because they had a ruin set that was terrible. Um, this yeah. you could you could build this into the Witch's Ruin Manor or the Witch's Magic Manor. Yeah. This would be, a, be nice, a good one. Be a nice one, yeah. That'd be a good one right there for that. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So there's lots of creativity in the. Co- I mean, that's what we're here for. That's why we do these shows. We like listening to you guys talk about what you do with it. You know, we throw our two cents out there. Give yeah. or take. Well, some know, take some people chime it, in but... just to hear hear us talk shit too. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we got we got a nice group of people that like to to hear that. Well, we don't always <laughs> we don't funny. always talk shit. Well, we've tailored most of our videos to cover stuff we actually like yeah <laughs> so yeah we'll tear apart one or two new things now and then or we'll complain about the state of whatever it is but uh for the most part we're talking about stuff we grew up with and loved so we don't talk too much you know crap about that stuff for the most part overall um, seven out of ten for dungeons and dragons uh the cmf if that's accurate i'm gonna give it the same rate yeah so i'd give it a parts point. pack it's a parts pack for me. I don't care yeah. about the figs, but I love some of the parts, some of the weapons, some yeah, of the armor. Some of the parts yeah. and weapons are, are very cool. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be one of a kind until those molds are released on another castle set somewhere. Then, yes. then that CMF series will be irrelevant. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, I like this. Rocks and Force Quiver. I plan to make this set a lair for the Good Wizard from Fantasy Era. That'd be a good one. That's a really good one. That yeah. that uh that sand blue wizard living up yeah. in here, perfect. That'd be great. Again, not a whole lot, but just you know maybe some flags or some some of this here and there. Change out a couple things, you're good to go. Yeah. What we need is a new some new plume options, Tricerion. Uh, we get we got a few. We got those funky little reindeer ones and stuff. Yeah, those are those are cool. I haven't actually effectively used those yet. No, I've seen some people use them. I think they they can be used fairly got, well without getting too one, too crazy. One of my forcemen somewhere, but I don't see it right offhand. Alternate candidate. I'm here for your opinions, whether I agree or not. Lol. Uh, always a highlight of the week. Love the stream and hearing what you guys think, even if you're wrong. <laughs> Hey, that, you know, that's exactly what, that's perfect. I love that comment. Thank you. Welcome uh, to America. Yep. Yep. That's why we do it. And you know, <laughs> we, we can be, he, we can be wrong sometimes. And that's totally fine. This is, this is a very heavily opinionated show. It's steeped in our own, you know, experiences and what we've grown up with. So, um, you know, if you're not here for that, that's totally fine. And and I'm, I'm all, I'm all good with that. But, uh, but yeah, we like to hear what you guys think too, you know? And we definitely disagree with some of the people in the comments, and that's the fun part. So, and we disagree with each other a lot too. Like, it's not like Andrew and I we will butt heads on things plenty of times. So, Jose, poking a poking a stick in the bees nest here with uh, Animal Crossing next week, guys. No, <laughs> that's a quick no for that. Um, <laughs> a quick think, no. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna turn turn back into. Uh, uh pirates the next the next series of pirate sets i love it yeah i would uh, definitely like to to get into um, i'm pretty sure i'm pretty pirates. sure that that is going to include the uh skull's eye schooner i think it is i think that's the next uh the next yeah. phase here and we haven't we haven't really really gotten into 
every set of pirate fully. So that should be interesting. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that that's probably what we're going to do uh, next week. Um, I think okay that would that, be, Jason? I, I like that. Let's uh, pull up Peter N real quick. Um, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I have a couple couple thoughts on that. Uh, thanks again for another great talk, says Peter N with a $2 donation. Appreciate it, my friend. Thanks for joining. Um, we definitely really do appreciate the donations from all you guys. And Oh, oh drop man. A, uh, drop a hang, <laughs> drop Look a like this. if Come you on. enjoyed it. Who's, who's, what's going on? See y'all in seven weeks. Are you going on vacation, Tricerion? No, what are you talking about? You're leaving us? <laughs> You're one of the you're you are you you are always dropping the good stuff in the comments, man. I mean, a lot of you guys are. Uh, ninja, <laughs> ninja next week. <laughs> um, I tell you what, we we will talk about we will talk about the classic ninja, the castle yeah. ninja. I think we but yeah, I put on I put a, I put together a master list. I I think I threw that on there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and here actually before we sign off, I know we're really pushing it here but uh there's a couple good um thoughts down here uh someone said i'll be here for the 2009 pirates yeah mm -hmm. there's 2009 thousand i think 14, 14 we'll, we'll yeah. put those together yeah i, I think we need, need to to talk about those because that's a We're, really interesting yeah time, no so. we are going to run through all of the pirates for sure yeah, it's all it's all happening like next week we're going to do another the next wave in the classic pirates line mm -hmm. um but Knights Kingdom one before they went to the jelly bean phase. Um, because it's not even related, it's completely different factions and everything. Yeah. Uh Ninja, classic ninja, 1999, I think. Nine, I think. Yeah. Um, those are gonna show up. Yeah. Stick around, guys. we we've got we've got the list. We're gonna be going through and, and dropping all of these. So I mean, I think Old we're Lego. gonna do dino attack at some Old point. Old Lego so. commercials is a good one too. Um Old and Tricerion yeah. said he's going to China. Oh, there's wow. no, no okay. YouTube there. I think, they, cool. I think they have YouTube. Uh, they may, they but it's it's a it's a censored like yeah, censored it's a no, YouTube. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they let the wild let's talk about Lego boys into the Chinese uh, market. Maybe I don't know. For sure, I, you I can have get a lot when of you get back, buddy. I have some followers on Instagram though through from China, so they do follow. I mean, they have some freedoms on that, so I, I don't yeah. know. I don't know, but if you can, we'd love it. But if you can't, uh, we loved having you for for uh, for these last few videos, and uh, we can't wait for you to get back on them. So, thanks. Yeah, thanks again, everybody, guys. thanks for joining. Uh, join us next week for the next uh, next series of Pirate, which is going to be uh, years nineteen ninety two through ninety three. Perfect. Sounds good. Well, uh, we look forward to joining all, all of you guys on that next video. Thank you so much for jumping on with us tonight. That's been another episode of Let's Talk About Lego. Yeah. Um, Thanks for joining. Like, follow the channel. Oh, welcome, everybody, from the last couple of weeks. Thank you for joining the channel as well. So, yeah. Have a good one, man. That was yeah. a fun talk. Everybody, have a good night. We'll see you next yeah. week. All right. Take it easy, guys.